Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to time on Gen 3 Hemi the correct way so you can double check yourself, make sure the timing's right on the cam and crank. Uh, first thing you need to do spin number one piston around top dead side cylinder where we're looking for it to come up, stop moving. Goes back down a little bit, back it up, right there. That's top dead center, number one. Then take your cam phaser. I like to put a little white paint on the mark. Roll it around. We get it at 12 o'clock. Straight up. Grab your chain. Now, don't purpose of this video is I see a lot of people using the the links on the chain and the blue dots on the chain and all this stupid shit that really doesn't matter. We're going to show you how all four-stroke engines are timed. That way, you can go back and double-check yourself. If you just line the little dots up here on the chain you spin it over you have no way to verify cam time put this on there and there grab a cam bolt You'll see that the crank keyway is usually at 2 o'clock. Cam at 12 o'clock, piston top dead center. That's the only things you're concerned with. Tighten it up by hand. We're going to grab our uh, slack adjuster. Tighten it up. <clears throat> Everything's just snug until we verify that we got it correctly timed. And it doesn't matter if the oil pump's on there. I see people dropping the oil pump, using zip ties to hold the chain, and none of that matters if you know how to time a four stroke engine. Just going to tighten the cam up a little bit. Pull the keeper out of the tensioner, make sure it releases. Okay, now here, what we're looking to check ourselves. We're still at 12 o'clock. We're still at top dead center. We're going to spin the engine. Three hundred and sixty degrees. You'll see when it's one hundred and eighty degrees, piston comes back top dead center. You should be at six o'clock on your cam gear. Spin it on around. Looking for your white dot, come up to 12 o'clock. Now, as you're coming up, you're watching your number one piston to be at top dead center when your cam gear is at 12 o'clock. And it is. Okay. What I like to do 
is pick a point, come back to 12 o'clock, top dead center, we're, we're in time. What I like to do is pick a point on the cam gear. It's not symmetrical here, so really don't do that. But what I do is I'll come down to this head stud, come down to this head stud, compare. I'm about three inches down in the bore. Come back over to this side on the top head stud. About same exact mount down in the cylinder bore on this side. What that? That's kind of just a. Uh, Homemade way of degree in the can, make sure that piston is in time with the can. Come back, top dead center, top marks 12 o'clock, you're in time. That's all there is to it. Now you don't have to worry about these goofy ass marks on the chain. You can double ch check yourself. If you line these links up, when you spin the engine over for the first time, these links go away. They will never line back up, maybe in 200 turns of the engine, but they'll never line back up. This way, you can double check yourself to make sure the cam is in time. Thanks for watching, guys.